When I think of the bioengineering department, the word that comes to mind is enthusiasm. The word that comes to mind is opportunity. Bioengineering is such a broad field and that is one of the best things about it. A lot of people think of bioengineering as just biomedical engineering and that is certainly a part of it, but bioengineering is so much more than that. There are bioengineers working on environmental sustainability issues, working on climate change and global warming. Bioengineering allows you to take biological principles, life science principles, and engineering principles and combine them in the medical fields, in environmental fields, and in other fields. It's clear from the pandemic that we need to understand how to face new challenges in healthcare delivery all of the time. But infectious disease isn't the only challenge. Neurodegenerative diseases are, in general, still untreatable. The forefront of research and where biology is going is where biology meets technology. The convergence of genomics, ability to store data, analyze data, and recognize patterns in the data through the advancement of computer science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, we are in the cusp of a huge number of advances and as a bioengineering student you will be in a position to be a part of all of them. And the question becomes how do you put together an undergraduate program to cover all of these things? And the way that we approach that in the bioengineering department at Northeastern is to have all of the students come in and take a set of six core courses that cover all of the aspects of bioengineering from biomechanics to molecular dynamics and control and everything in between. Once you've been through these six core courses, we're gonna ask you to focus, to concentrate on one of four different concentrations. Biomechanics, cell and tissue, biomedical instrumentation, and computational bioengineering. You're learning how to approach biology problems with an engineering problem-solving mindset. One of the opportunities that you'll have at Northeastern, and I really encourage you to try to take advantage of it, is to do research with a faculty member. Professors within this concentration have this motivation to engage their students and involve them in undergraduate research and opportunities, and I think that's extremely motivating for the students themselves. They're so enthusiastic about showing you more about what they do or even like past projects that they've done. So you get like a wide variety of different things that you can kind of like taste and see. For the last two years, I've been an undergraduate research assistant in Dr. Dye's lab on campus. At Northeastern, we have the opportunity to utilize equipment and devices such as 3D bioprinters and confocal microscopy that most undergraduates don't have the opportunity to experience. And now I have my own proposal that I've been developing for the past year, where we use 3D bioprinted brain tissue to study patterns of a very aggressive invasive tumor in glioblastoma. Throughout Northeastern, I've been involved with multiple different research projects. Primarily, the lab on campus that I'm working for is through Dr. Lee Plant. He has been a great mentor so far. Everybody in the lab is super friendly. I'm working on a project related to mitochondria and Parkinson's disease along with one of my peers, Gaia. So research has always been on the forefront of my mind and really being in the lab and working with other PhD students has not only allowed me to actually learn the lab skills and learn how to carry out experiments, but it's also given me an opportunity to converse with them and see what their PhD experience has been like. Experiential learning is really important because it gives you a perspective that you can't really get in the classroom. With experiential learning, it really opens it up into this uh, almost self-deterministic style of learning that I really, really enjoy. And I think with all of that flexibility, there is a lot of worry and anxiety about how can you achieve all these like things put in front of you, but being able to navigate those really gives you a great benefit over traditional learning methods. One of the great things about bioengineering at Northeastern is that we're in Boston. Future of medicine is being invented within five miles of the Northeastern campus. We have an astonishing array of biotech, bioengineering, biopharmaceutical companies within the Boston metropolitan area. And most of our students end up doing co-op in some of these companies. We've had people with extraordinary opportunities, whether they're working at Sanofi or Moderna 
or Pfizer or Vertex. You learn a lot in, in class, but nothing can like fully teach you what it's gonna be like day to day doing your work. Getting to do that while you're still in college is so cool. Coming back from co-op, students are hungrier to gain more skills because they see the direct applications. So there's this cycle of continuous learning. I did my co-op at Moderna as part of their mRNA process development team, where there I worked on optimizing and developing methods for purification of small molecules, mRNA, and other components of mRNA vaccines and therapeutics. You get industry experience before you graduate, and so that's super helpful. In this growing competitive field of bioengineering and biotech, having even like six months or a year of experience puts you ahead compared to other candidates. So I chose biomechanics after completing my second co-op at the Institute für Biomechanics in Mornau und Germany. This experience was super cool because I feel like I got to see a holistic type of research-based co-op working in such an environment where my research lab in Germany, it was a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds. I was hiking and biking in the Alps every weekend just to do something and to see something new. So it was a really, really cool experience. The capstone program in bioengineering is the opportunity for graduating seniors to form teams and tackle an engineering problem from start to finish. You get the problem at the very beginning, you work to define the problem, and then you move all the way through developing a working prototype to solve the problem and testing that prototype. It's a great way for graduating seniors in bioengineering to synthesize everything that they've learned in their undergraduate program and apply it to th this complex engineering problem. At the end of these two semester sequence, we're going to have a competition. We have external advisors who come in from the biotech and biopharmaceutical and bioengineering sectors and they come in and they judge your project. It's an all-day event. Students do a poster session, they do their oral presentations, and then we bring in external judges for that day. So my capstone project, we were assigned to make adjustable orthotic inserts that could be used with open-toed shoes, like sandals, for example. The biggest role that I played was being in charge of design verification. So that meant a lot of the testing in the later stages of the project and the testing on the final stages of the prototype. My favorite part of this process was getting the opportunity to really take a design and a concept from the very early stages of brainstorming and concept generation all the way to a completed prototype that we could test on. So our sponsor is a company called scan to touch and they have a vision to kind of bring 3D scanned medical technology into the physical world. And so they've chosen to start with ultrasound scans. And what we've done is we've built out a product that's able to go from basically a flat two-dimensional image of uh, a baby's head. And we're able to build a processing technology that'll go from that to an STL file that's suitable for a 3D printer. Once those scans get past the software and into the physical world, I think it's great to hold those and just kind of like look around at, uh, at what your work has, has become and have this kind of token of, of all that hard work. It's gonna be a ton of great projects and great ideas that are gonna present a lot of fun engineering challenges and where you end up is probably going to be very different from that first idea that pops into your head. Keep an open mind when you brainstorm and try to think outside the box. One thing you have to understand about Northeastern is it is about students. Students first. Bioengineering department is a really friendly department. They do a lot of activities for students, almost constantly events for undergraduate graduates to interact with each other, to interact with faculty and staff. I was involved in enabling engineering. The thing that stands out to me in my experience with enabling engineering is how supportive all the mentors were. My group, none of us were mechanical engineers or computer or electrical engineers and a lot of our project comprised of those bits. But we really pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone and wanted to tackle this problem. People are really willing to help each other and everybody has such different skill sets and when you put those together it can create something really cool. I'm just a member of SWE, which is the Society of Women Engineers and BMES, which is the Biomedical Engineering Society. I mean, both of those groups are 
groups of engineers and people and friends who want to help you succeed and help each other succeed. So they hold like the career fair and resume workshops. So that's super helpful when you're applying for jobs and prepping for jobs. One thing Northeastern has really made me realize is that I'm capable of so much more than I thought I was and that there's always a support network here, whether that be through co-op, co-op advisors, all the clubs and like the tutoring. It's really made my engineering degree possible. The interface of engineering and medicine is going to be one of the great intellectual adventures of the 21st century. Being a bioengineering student at Northeastern is going to give you entree to that amazing adventure. And I hope you'll get take the opportunity to learn as much as you can about bioengineering and take advantage of all of the opportunities that will be able to afford you while you're at Northeastern.